and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147 and I've been shopping. So, um, on our Facebook group many people are superb at sharing diamond paintings they've done, diamond paintings they're working on etc. And there was a lady who shared a diamond painting that they were in the middle of Megan did spot it for all its colours and stuff in the diamond painting. And what did I spot? The storage. <laughs> I spotted storage I'd not seen before and looked very good. Um, and she very kindly let me know that it was a cottage mills dot box. So I promptly went on to Amazon and may have bought myself one. So I'm going to share it with you all now because I'm rather excited. <laughs> It's been here a bit before I get round to opening it, but that's the joys of being busy. So, this is the medium dot box. So this is the one that I chose. They do a small, they also do a, I'm just throwing the Amazon box on the floor. They also do a large and an extra large. But this seemed to be a good one for me to start off with. And looks like we've had a few move about inside, but I absolutely loved the concept of this. So JMO says thank you. But it has this nice strong clips. But what I really liked is inside it has multiple different sizes of storage container. And you can get different cases and different containers and then move them about. But we have some of these that look like they will hold loads of diamonds. In fact, let's see if we can get this off without making a complete mess of it. No, we're not doing very well already. I don't want to take a craft knife to it because I don't want to scratch the box trying to get the label off. But the tape has been used, it's been teared off with a tape machine. You know, the ones that gives it little teeth marks on the end. So when you try and pull the tape off, it rips. Okay, there we go. We're in. Let me fold over these bits of tape before I cause myself a problem. But, so, this one shows a medium a small, a medium and a large case. I'm sure I've seen an extra large though. I say this is the medium, but you can get the different cases and then you can get an extra large box, which I don't have in here. Oh no, I do. So we have an extra large box. Imagine that painting with three tens or three eight six five. Imagine how many you could launch into that. So, and they all sit in with this little divot system that sits into the little dots. So there's little dots on the bottom of the case and the top of the case, which can help to keep the big ones in place. So that's the extra large box. Then we have the LL box, which is this one. It's like a little, little trunk. And that will fit loads by the looks of it. Then we have the L box, or the large box, which is this square one. Oh, then we have an ML box. Oh, I do actually have some of those as well. So this is, okay, they're the large ones at the back. You see it's thinner, and you can actually stack two, one on top of each other. I don't know if I'd want to do that with diamond painting. That's what I need to mess about with. But we get the ML box. Then we've got, no, that's a large box. So that's, an, sorry, that's an ML box. That's an L box. This is an M box. So it's half the size of the L box. And in fact, they actually have the letters on the bottom. Just spotted that. Um, and then we have the small box, which actually comes as a set of three, but they do slide on and off. 
so you can group them together to go around these corners or you can take them off and they do have a little latch for you to just have a few little diamonds in there and I just thought it was kind of adorable and the way those three slide together it does mean that you can still open each one individually without disconnecting them fully they are all accessible but yeah I just thought it was fun I don't know if I'd want to keep the ones on top of the others when I do it so if I take those out I'd have to mess about when I'm kitting up and those are stacked so maybe I'd want the big ones at the back bigger ones at the back then maybe these ones have just gone slightly out of alignment in Amazon parcel delivery state small ones there longer ones further back maybe maybe have it like that so that I could see all my pretty colours in little stacks depending on how many I've got but I just keep thinking some of the diamond paintings I've got how many diamonds I can fit in there because even these that are a two I could always put my sticker in the middle to show you know that it's that it's a long box rather than a short box but how many does it come with let me see because it did tell me um it's going on Amazon so it's currently showing for the medium as £28.31 and then for the extra large it does seem to be showing just boxes so I think it's like a case that you can just buy or maybe they don't do extra large extra large box oh so the listing for extra large box is just that you can buy them separate so if you have a painting that has a lot of colours you could you could make up your storage as and when you go but what I liked about this is it's similar I don't know if anybody saw a while back I unboxed what's called a bead box from Amazon there was lots of little boxes similar to this that stacked in inside themselves inside the box but they all stacked on the edge and they had gaps where diamonds ended up falling out so they would work really well for beads which is what they were sold for to be fair um, but they wouldn't work as well for diamonds because they kept falling out so I actually stopped using it um, I actually gave it away to, to somebody but these what I liked about these is this, they've not got that gap and they all lie flat so but they will all slot in according to this so if I wanted to remove two of these and put a long one in if I did want to keep them on one level because of the diamond painting I was doing I can do and then I can shut my box and off I go I thought it was funky um, so yeah I paid for this that about £28.31 you can get a large set so that comes with the large box and with, of course, more inserts. But the medium set, oh, it tells us here, 53 pieces. Now, one of those pieces is the case. So there's 52 boxes. You actually get 22 of these medium boxes, which you will be surprised how many diamonds will actually fit in one of these probably a lot um, and all this does show you can for the medium boxes is that medium yes it is medium make sure I'm uh, in fact you could probably do it for these as well is you could actually store them on their side and have the two because if you look here it shows them on their side rather than flat so you've got the option of storing them either way. 
So if I wanted to fit more in but still be able to access them all, I could put them upright like that instead. In fact, if I put the little, the little latch, because they do have little divots to sit in the little dots. There, that's better. That's much better. I much prefer that way. I, I wouldn't need it. I would lie them flat if I didn't need all the boxes. But I much prefer the boxes up this way. Okay, I don't, I don't have too many more of the ML boxes. And then... See, I'm messing now. I'm getting distracted now. So, oh, there we go. If I put those ones, which are the L boxes, continue them across, and then have two lots of the many medium boxes that I have. Now, when there's two of them, it can just take a minute to be able to get them to settle on the dots. That's what I'm struggling with, is getting them to line up on the dots. They do, and I suppose once it's all full, they don't have as many different places to go. But I really like the concept. I can't wait to kit up a diamond painting with quite a lot you know, especially if there's some colours that there's really a lot of. And that's why I got the 53, or the medium box, the 53 pieces. Because I thought it would be much nicer to be able to mess about and, you know, and keep hold of what it is that I want and need according to what I'm kitting up. And then I could just adapt it. And if I decided to get, you know, maybe just the small box and transfer some that I'm going to use, depending on the diamond painting. But that's them all lined up upright so that I could still see all the colours. And still, I'm not sure how I'd sticker them up on these small ones. Maybe I'd have to use some smaller stickers or some half size stickers. It would depend on the painting I'm doing. But I love a good storage set. So this is the Cottage Mills. Uh, I got the 53 piece medium set, but I'm really excited to give this a go. Um, I like storage that I can adapt according to the painting that I'm doing. Um, I like the idea of potentially getting the small box or the small case with or without actual boxes in it so that maybe I can shop from this one and fill it up in the small one according to what I want. I'd have to have a look. I oh, know small case is nine pounds, nine pounds 44 if I were to buy that currently. That's how much it cost me and I could just add the boxes to what it is that I needed. Though the small set with the boxes is only £16. So, yeah, loads and loads of possibilities. I need to kit up with this one before I need to decide if I want, want more. But I thought 53 pieces, which gives me 52 boxes. That does include these little small ones, but we all know some paintings come with like a handful of diamonds. I think it would be very interesting to see how this kit up for a painting, how it works, how it looks, um, and whether I have a painting that has more diamonds than would fit in this one as well. Anyway, you'll be sure to see me use this in a kitting up soon, no doubt. But if I close it now, my dots all line up and keep, keep my boxes in place and keep my diamonds safe whenever they make it there. 
anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon